assalamu alaikum students today our uh, topic of discussion is immunity so first of all uh, definition of immunity the ability of human body to resist damage of the tissues and organs by invasion of microorganisms or antigen so it is uh, the ability of uh, resistance to uh, microorganisms types of immunity innate immunity and acquired or adaptive immunity innate immunity results from stimulation of general processes given by nature uh, and there is important role of reticular endothelial system while in acquired or adaptive immunity develops after uh, the body is first attacked by bacterium virus or toxin often requiring weeks or months to develop the immunity involves the stimulation of immune system immunity is divided into adaptive and innate immunity while adaptive immunity is further divided into natural and artificial and uh, this natural immunity is further divided into passive and active while artificial is also divided into passive and active and uh, the active uh, the adaptive natural active immunity is further divided into two that is the humoral immunity and cell mediated immunity uh, the acquired immunity is uh, divided into naturally acquired and artificially acquired and uh, the naturally acquired uh, immunity is divided into active and passive in active uh, naturally acquired immunity there is a uh, the infection or contact with the pathogen while in passive uh, immunity there is the antibodies pass from mother to fetus by placenta or to infants in her milk so uh, in active immunity there is the challenge uh, to body while in passive uh, the preformed antibodies uh, are available for uh, the fetus uh, the artificial acquired immunity is also divided into active and passive uh, and uh, the artificially active immunity involves a vaccine uh, or dead or attenuated pathogens while uh, the artificial acquired passive one uh, involves uh, the injection of uh, immune serum or immunoglobulins innate immunity is uh, the natural resistance with which a person is born phagocytosis of bacteria and other invaders by white blood cells and cells of tissue macrophage system first line of defense in inflammation uh, the other example is a destruction of um, uh, swallowed organisms by the acid uh, secretions of the stomach and the digestive system uh, third example is a resistance of uh, the skin to invasion by organisms and the fourth one is presence uh, in the blood uh, chemical compounds that attach to foreign uh, organisms or toxins and destroy that so these are the four examples of innate immunity some of uh, these compounds are lysozymes uh, and the complement system the complement system we will discuss uh, complement system uh, in detail in a separate lecture now while uh, the lysozymes uh, uh, mucolytic polysaccharides that attack bacteria and cause them to dissolate well uh, the complement system uh, a system of about 20 proteins uh, to destroy bacteria the innate immunity makes uh, the human body resistance to such diseases uh, as uh, some paralytic viral infections of animals uh, or cholera cattle plague distemper acquired immunity ad acquired or adaptive immunity human body has the ability to develop powerful specific immunity against individual invading agents such as lethal bacteria viruses toxins and foreign tissue caused by a special immune system that forms antibodies and or activated lymphocytes that attack and destroy the specific invading organism or toxin acquired immunity is the extreme protection for example certain toxins such as paralytic botulinum toxin or tetanizing toxin of tetanus can be protected against in doses as high as uh, one uh, lakh times the amount that would be lethal without immunity this is the reason 
the treatment process known as uh, immunization is so important in protecting human beings against disease and against toxins. Types of acquired immunity, humoral immunity, cell mediated immunity. Humoral immunity is B cell immunity. Uh, body develops circulating antibodies, globulin molecules in blood plasma that are capable of attacking the invading agents. So humoral means antibodies. While cell mediated, immun cell mediated immunity, formation of large number of activated T lymphocytes that are specifically crafted in lymph nodes to destroy the foreign agent. Both the antibodies and the activated lymphocytes are formed in the lymphoid tissue of the body. Passive immunity, thus for all the acquired immunity we have discussed uh, has been uh, active immunity. That is the person's own body develops either antibodies or activated T cells in response to uh, invasion of the body by a foreign antigen. However, temporary immunity can be achieved in a person without injecting any antigen. This is done by infusing antibodies, activated T cells or both obtained from the blood of someone else or from some other animal that has been actively immunized against the antigen. Antibody is lost in uh, the body of uh, the recipient for two to three weeks and during that time the person is protected against the invading disease. Activated T cells last for a few weeks if transfused from another person but only for a few hours to few days if transfused from an animal. Such transfusion of antibodies or T lymphocytes to confer immunity is called passive immunity. Both types of acquired immunity are initiated by antigens because acquired immunity does not develop until after invasion by a foreign uh, organism or toxin. Antigens are present on large polysaccharides and can initiate the acquired immunity. These substances are called antigens or uh, antibody generators uh, or antibody generations because uh, in these in response to, to these antigens there is production of antibodies for a substance to be antigenic it usually must have a high molecular weight 8000 or greater uh, process of antigenicity depends on molecular group epitopes on uh, the surface of large molecule. These epitopes are actually the sites on uh, the antigen where the antibodies join with or combine with or form a complex with antigen. This is also uh, this also explains why proteins and large polysaccharides are almost always antigenic because both of these have uh, this uh, stereochemical characteristic. Lymphocytes are responsible for acquired immunity. Acquired immunity is the product of the body's lymphocytes. In people who have a genetic lack of lymphocytes or lymphocytes have been destroyed by radiations or chemicals, no acquired immunity can dwell. Lymphocytes are located in lymph nodes, special lymphoid tissues such as spleen, submucosal area of areas of gastrointestinal tract, thymus and bone marrow. The lymphoid tissue is uh, distributed in the body to intercept invading organisms or toxins before they can spread too widely. In most uh, instances, the invading agent first enters the tissue fluid, fluids and uh, then is carried by lymph vessels to the lymph node or other lymphoid tissue. The lymphoid tissue of the throat and pharynx the tonsils, that is tonsils and adenoids, uh, is well located to intercept antigens that enter by way of uh, the upper respiratory tract. The lymphoid tissue in the lymph node, uh, lymph nodes is exposed to antigens that invade the peripheral tissues of the body. Lymphoid tissues of the spleen, thymus and bone marrow plays the specific role of intercepting antigenic agents that have succeeded in reaching the circulatory blood. Types of lymphocytes, cell mediated immunity, uh, T lymphocytes responsible for forming uh, the activated lymphocytes that provide cell mediated immunity while humoral immunity B lymphocytes are responsible for forming uh, antibodies that provide humoral immunity. 
Both types of uh, lymphocytes are derived in embryo from pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells that form common lymphoid progenitor cells. <clears throat> you can see here, this is uh, the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell. Uh, and from uh, this, there is the production of uh, lymphoid stem cell, which is, uh, which is differentiated into T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Lymphocytes formation, bone marrow, or a fetal liver, uh, lymphocyte uh, stem cells, which uh, are converted into uh, T cells in the thymus, and uh, then uh, uh, on the other side there is the B cells. Uh, the, when uh, there is exposure of antigen, there is a T uh, lymphocytes production, and there is cell mediated immunity, while uh, uh, on the lower side of the picture, there is a humoral immunity. Uh, there is the production of antibodies in response to antigen. All lymphocytes that are formed, pre-processed, end up in lymphoid tissue in the following ways. Uh, T lymphocytes activated the T lymphocytes first migrate to and are pre-processed in the thymus gland and thus they are called the T lymphocytes to designate the role of the thymus. They are responsible for cell mediated immunity. While B lymphocytes destined to form antibodies are pre-processed in liver during mid-fetal life, while in the bone marrow in late fetal life and after birth. This population of cells was first discovered in birds which have a specific special pre-processing organ called the bursa fabricus. For this reason, these lymphocytes are called B lymphocytes to designate the role of the bursa responsible for humoral immunity. You can see uh, cell mediated versus uh, humoral immunity. Well, the pre processing of uh, the T and the B lymphocytes, all uh, lymphocytes in the body originate from lymphocyte committed uh, stem cells of the embryo. These stem cells themselves are incapable of forming directly either activated uh, T lymphocytes or antibodies. Thymus gland pre-processes uh, the T lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes after uh, origination in uh, the bone marrow first migrate to the thymus gland. Here they divide rapidly and at the same time develop extreme diversity for reacting against different specific antigens. One thymic lymphocyte develops specific reactivity against one antigen. Then next lymphocyte develops specificity against another antigen. This continues until there are thousands of different types of thymic lymphocytes with specific reactivities against many thousands of different antigens. These different types of pre-processed T lymphocytes leave thymus, enter the blood and lodge in lymphoid tissue everywhere. Liver and bone marrow pre-process the B lymphocytes in human being. B lymphocytes are pre-processed in the liver during mid-fetal life, while uh, in bone marrow during late fetal life and after birth. Difference between uh, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes actively secrete antibodies that are uh, the reactive agents capable of combining with and destroying antigenic substance. While the B lymphocytes have greater diversity than uh, the T lymphocytes, forming millions of, of types of B lymphocyte antibodies with different specific reactivities. After pre-processing, the B lymphocytes, like the T lymphocytes, migrate to lymphoid tissue throughout the body where they lodge near uh, but slightly removed from the T lymphocyte areas. So this is uh, all about uh, the basic uh, concepts of uh, immunity. Uh, its uh, classification and uh, about uh, uh, the uh, cell mediated immunity and humoral immunity. If you have any query, you can uh, contact me and uh, we will uh, continue uh, the topic of immunity in uh, the next lecture.